When we initially undertook the study, we were most concerned about cardiovascular effects and hypertension. And we were pleasantly surprised to find that patients who experienced an increase in blood pressure initially, they didn't experience that subsequently. That if patients were given this medication initially and they didn't experience any adverse effects, they were likely to do well subsequently. I think that it provides a lot of comfort, the data does, um, in terms of long-term bevacizumab administration. If you have a patient who has had a, a, a platinum-sensitive recurrent ovarian cancer and you give them chemotherapy based off of GOG-213 or OCEANS, then you can feel pretty good once they've gotten past a certain number of cycles of bevacizumab that they're probably going to do okay. We don't really need to worry about bowel perforations or hypertension. Those things don't usually manifest themselves if they did well initially.